Absolutely love that. Let's stay on our Women's Month trend. I think it would be logical to say that more girls, more women should be playing football when we look at the global scheme of things. Um, and competitive football too, but for exactly the same reasons that young boys should be playing in proper leagues, especially in disadvantaged communities that are economically troubled and at risk. And that means um, that instead of just saying why aren't there more leagues for girls, putting his money where his mouth is, Vuyal Wertu Kaya has started one and it has resulted in the most incredible changes in some of the ladies. That makes him our Mandela Monday hero. I think it's very important to provide equal access to, to girls through sport. You know, RV United provides a safe and meaningful space for girls to play football because they really need to be supported. This man walks the talk. I started RV United in 2011 where, whereby we saw a need for a girls soccer team. You know, it was born after a grassroots soccer program called Skill Street where we spend half of the time in classroom addressing uh, life skills and sexual reproductive health rights and uh, a little bit of soccer. So after the completion of the program, few girls, they came to us and said, Coach, we want to continue playing soccer, but there's no girls team around. So they kept on coming to the center. We gave them a soccer ball. They kept on coming. Then we thought there is a need for a girls soccer team in the, in the community. Everyone is equal, judged on their skills and effort. The freedom to play and express themselves whilst developing team values is reflected in every facet of their lives. Since the start of the club, it has grown. You know, we started with six, six players, but now we have about 70 young girls who are playing football. For United. There's not, there's not like a lot of girls playing soccer. So I, I want to be like one of the girls playing soccer and be and be like um, Poshio Mujise, which is my role model. The thing that I enjoy about soccer is to kick the ball and to meet with new friends. What I enjoy about soccer is that we learn skills and we can skill boys. Soccer is not just about for boys; it's also for girls to play. My coaches are a little. Sometimes when we are bad, they tell us to do the right thing so we can achieve in life so senior players they they, they support the the junior players as you can see happy and Tina are the coaches for the junior players since the girls have joined RV United there's been a lot of changes that's happening in their life most of them they spend their time on the street doing the wrong stuff but with RV we're changing their lives like uh, making a better life for them the values that we try to install in the girls is discipline, commitment, and also like um, to believe in themselves. Whatever they want to achieve their goals, they must believe in themselves that they can achieve, and also ne for them to never give up. Out there, there's violence, and when I'm in soccer, I feel safe. I benefited a lot because I'm um, here in Over United. We got the after school program on Mondays, which you go and you got um, do assignments and things. Then it's just cool and it's like I enjoy that every much because I'm not just focusing at the soccer, I'm just all focusing also in my books. They treat us as their family, they don't treat us as a, like we are from, we are strangers. I mean, we're doing a massive, a massive job giving up opportunities for, for young girls. You know, to play soccer, something that has never been there, you know, before. But we're creating that platform for them to come and play soccer. Because we strongly believe that girls can also play soccer and they can also be good only if they're given opportunity. Our hope for the girls is to develop them holistically. You know, not just soccer, but also in other areas in their lives. Let's give ourselves a double kill!